airplane follows the story of former Air Force pilot Ted Stryker. In order to understand the story, we need to know what he is wanting to achieve by the end of the film. Ted runs off for his ex-girlfriend and air hostess Elaine to the airport. She's leaving him, but Ted wants to work things out with her. He intends to keep the relationship going. What's stopping Ted from achieving this is Elaine's respect, or lack of, for Ted. He's having trouble with committing to jobs and suffers from PTSD after a failed air raid during his service during the war. As a result, he has a fear of flying. Will Ted overcome his fear of flying to save his relationship? The stakes of airplane only fall into the external and internal categories, and that's okay. Not every film or story needs philosophical stakes. They're designed to give your story a heightened ending and a moral victory for your protagonist. You can see more information about this in our philosophical stakes video. So externally, Ted's relationship with Elaine is what can be achieved physically, and internally, Ted's flying confidence is what drives or pilots him to success. If he fails externally, he'll have lost his relationship. If Ted fails internally, he'll continue to live his life blaming himself for being a bad pilot. We move on to our key beats. We open on a packed airport where Elaine arrives for her shift. Ted confronts Elaine at the airport and begs her not to leave him. The external stakes are established here. She says why she's leaving him and, st and staying in Chicago where her flight lands. What a pisser. The insight in incident comes when Elaine reinforces her stance on their relationship. His relationship with Elaine is what he wants to keep and in order to not lose Elaine forever, he buys a ticket for the flight Elaine is working on. There's no going back for Ted now. The first outbreak comes whilst on board the flight, Ted repeatedly has flashbacks to his war days. These start when we see Ted recovering in a war hospital. His fear of flying is Ted's B problem. It's something he has to overcome in order to win over Elaine. He takes full responsibility for the mistake that claimed the lives of six men. Thankfully, George Zip survived. Ted needs to get his flying confidence back, and this is his second act goal. The midpoint arrives once the pilot has been incapacitated due to illness, as it forces Ted to take control of the plane as he's the only one with flying experience. It's the midpoint of the story as it deepens the stakes related to Ted's internal conflict over his lack of flying confidence. This in turn will deepen the external stakes as Ted's relationship will hinge on his ability to take the responsibility to land the plane. The second act break marks the successful resolution of the second act goal and this comes when Ted gets his confidence back and takes back over the control of the plane, demanding an immediate landing in Chicago. He's overcome his fear of flying as well as his drinking problem. Ted has accomplished his internal problem and his second act goal. Everything he does in the third act pushes Ted towards completing his external goal, and this comes when Ted lands the plane in Chicago. The passengers get carted off to hospital, and Ted has saved the lives of dozens of passengers. His actions have also impressed Elaine, who has now fallen back in love with Ted. She'll give him another 20 minutes, but that's it. Here's the first act. After our opening, we find out that a passenger on board the flight has been matched with a heart donor, so that they need to land within six hours. Elaine tells Ted how he can't handle responsibility and his war record is holding him back. It introduces the internal stakes regarding Ted's lack of confidence in himself and his flying abilities. Whilst in the cockpit, there's a mention of bad weather during their journey. Use the link in our description below to check out our index card sheet to see why this is an important mention. We then have our incited incident where Ted buys his smoking ticket. The flight gets clearance, Clarence, and takes off. Early on in the flight, Ted tries to speak to Elaine. This prompts Ted to have the flashback to the night that they met. The food orders are getting taken before Elaine also has a flashback to the time she spent with Ted during the war. I can't say much more, it's classified. Whilst this next card doesn't directly impact the story, we'll include it in the video. Joey goes to the cockpit where he meets Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the second highest NBA point scorer because he only tried during the playoffs. The external and internal stakes are threatened on the next card when Elaine says their relationship can't be what it was because Ted lives in the past. Ted's relationship with Elaine is in trouble, external threat, because he can't move on from his mistakes during the war, internal threat. This causes Ted to have another flashback of a time when he was in a war hospital, and this brings us to the start of the second act goal surrounding Ted overcoming his crisis of confidence. So the first half of the second act begins with Randy singing, before food starts getting given out to the cockpit crew. We then get another flashback to Ted and Elaine's time in Africa. This is where Ted's guilt and his drinking problems begin. The passengers start to fall ill and Dr. Umak begins to check upon the passengers. After communicating, they find out there's no chance of an emergency landing before Chicago due to the bad weather. This brings us to the midpoint when the captain falls ill and leaves the cockpit in the inflated hands of the automatic pilot. In the second half of the second act, Chicago air traffic controllers begin to make preparations for the plane's arrival. It's the wrong week to quit smoking because Elaine asks the passengers if anyone knows how to fly a plane. Back in Chicago, Kramer is getting ready to leave for the airport. This is when Ted goes to the cockpit, sees the situation for himself and takes over the controls of the plane. Whilst on his way to Chicago, Kramer talks about how he knows Ted from the war. 
After Ted tries to get used to the controls, Kramer talks Ted through the controls whilst Elaine takes over the radio. Whilst there's unrest on the plane and the captain's wife is told to come to Chicago airport, the plane doesn't show up on the radar. News of the crisis-stricken plane circulates the globe and there's further panic on the plane before Ted realises he can't handle the pressure and quits. This is when Dr. Rumack gives Ted a pep talk about how he treated George Zip, who spoke highly of Ted whilst in the hospital. Ted has forgiven himself of any blame attached to the deaths of the seven men. The second act goal has been achieved and this is now forcing the stakes of the The second act goal has been achieved and this is now forcing the stakes of Ted winning back Elaine by taking on the responsibility of the plane. The third act begins with Ted telling Chicago he's landing and calling the shots now. Chicago Airport is preparing itself for Ted's landing, as is Ted himself. Once he's landed the plane, everyone gets prepared to leave the plane. After everyone has gotten off the plane, Ted is able to win back Elaine. The internal and external stakes have been a success and it marks the successful resolution of the overall story.